guys welcome back to our channel so we have been gone for some time and we're back now we're still in Ghana and we are about to show you the rest of Agamemnon market so Agamemnon market is I forgot where it's located but it's one hour away from the capital city which is which is Accra and it's like four or five hours away from Kumasi which is another city so we are about to explore what this market offers. This kind of market is something that you will see in a magazine or a brochure. And today we are about to explore it with you guys. So stay tuned while we stroll. Whoa, <laughs> watch your step. I'm just joking. So in this market, you can get anything. Uh, when I said anything, I mean you can get from a pin to an anchor because you can get beans and peas and fruits and nuts and crafts and fabrics. See some lovely tomatoes over there. You have cucumbers, mangoes, sweet potatoes, fresh fish, creams and butters and soap. You can get sandals, you can get fabrics, you name it, it's right here in this market, agri-money market. And one thing I will say about the Ghanaians, they are so hospitable because you can just strike up a conversation with anyone at any given time. And this is something that we haven't experienced in other countries. And one more thing that we forget to mention is the incredible skills of the women here in Ghana because they are able to balance heavy baskets and bags on their heads as they move gracefully through the market the busy market look at this lady look at this other lady and this other lady and this other lady they are so skillful So we were told that the heart of Ed Karin is deeply ingrained in the traditions of Ghana. It's a part of their cultural identity and it's a symbol of their resilience and resourcefulness because you can see sometimes you can see the women they carry in the basket on their head and at the same time they have uh, the babies on their back and they have something else in their hand so it's it's truly a part of being resourceful There are so many things we are seeing right now and there are so many things that we could talk about but we are just going to let the video play and you can enjoy agramone markets through the screen okay <laughs> enjoy
market is yeah. All the way in. You don't remember no, this place? Yeah, before. But it's way back, like almost 20 years ago. Uh -huh. We long time ago, man. That's a buffalo. Uh -huh. So I say you will go where in the fry them. So we are now going to the section where they sell beads and other craft items. So these are some lovely beads, some necklace. You can see this lady making her beads. And there are so many variety of beads, whether it be for the neck, for the waist, or for other body parts.
so we are about to buy some calabash but first let's talk about these things right here on the right these white leather things they are called clay and i have been told that pregnant women eat them they're edible but i'm not sure if i would eat them but uh, they said that when ladies are pregnant they eat them i don't know if you have to be pregnant to eat it or what if you know more about this thing you can leave it in the comment section down below and we are about to buy some of these calabash i don't know if that's what you call it in your country but calabash is used for fetching water you can heat from it it's very natural instead of using plastic bowls or um plates other type of plates you can just use the calabash if uh, you use the calabash for something else in your country you can let us know in the comment section down below and if you have another name for it in your country you can also tell us what you call it in your country okay so we are coming to the end of this video and i want you to remember that traveling is all about embracing the raw and real experiences and this market has definitely given us plenty of that so i want you to make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned so that when we upload another video you will be the first one to be notified because we are going from markets to markets from villages to villages and from cities to cities so stay tuned for more